Okay. I think this was the town that... Yeah, this was the town that had the missing gym leader for, like, ever. Pretty sure. Fontina. Wait. Soulful Dancer. Does that mean that this is a fairy gem? Oh, ghost. Yep, she's here, and I need... Darker Fairy, I think it is, for ghosts. You're right, Fairy wasn't introduced in, uh... Gen 4. Okay, it's Dark and Ghost. So, in other words, I have Bite. And crunch. And crunch. <laughs> I have two crunch and one and one bite. It's the only useful move I have against ghosts. Oh man, this is this is uh this is rough. I mean, there's a chance that. My levels might, I might outmatch them by 10 levels and that might help, but do I want to just, do I want to try to bank on that? Oh, what to do, 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 what to do. Check my healing stash, I have 8 potions, 3 super potions, 2 awakes, awakening, revives are useless. Full heals 21, max potions 21, hyper, mumu milk. Dark glasses boost dark moves. I might as well give it. Because you're not holding anything. So I might as well make your bite stronger. Hmm. Kind of. Wait a minute. Actually, I can sort... Th no, that's not what I want. I want to sort it. I want to sort them by number. Oh, thank goodness. I was going to say I better be able to sort them by number. Ah, uh, looks so much nicer now. Hmm. Well, I... don't think I have any mystery gifts. Well, well, YOLO, this might be the gym that uh, finishes my Nuzlocke, we'll see. Question three, what is, oh wait, no, question is three plus five plus seven, answer is two, sixteen, fifteen. So three plus five is eight, and eight plus seven is... But the, what I want to know is, if I go through the wrong door, does it bring me back here, or does it bring me to a battle? Because if it brings me to a battle, I'd prefer to go with the wrong answers first. Luke, sir, uh, do you happen to know? If I go through the wrong door, does it bring me to a battle, or does it just make it, I come back, I co crap. Well, we're about to find out. Yes, it is a battle. Yes, yes, I did. Okay, well, my answer was question. My question was answered. Now, my other question is, how many questions do I have to go to until I get to the boss room? Or the leader? 
Yep, that's exactly what I needed. Tasty. Okay, so if you're... If the trainers are in low 30s, then I'm looking mid to high 30s for the gym leader. So, they're definitely getting closer to my level. But I still have a slight chance that this might go okay. Okay, so another question is, does the question change? No, it does not. Okay, I just want to make sure. Yes, I screwed up deliberately. You don't need to remind me of my choices. Also, images, I just saw your new uh, TikTok for uh, Tales of Arise. <laughs> okay, well, that one was high, high 20s. Yeah, so I'm definitely thinking we're getting mid 30s here. So I might still have like four levels on them. Which doesn't exactly mean that it's going to be, that's going to be uh, beneficial, but it's better than nothing. Time to go through the proper door. Finally! It's hatching, whatever it is. And the verdict is if it's a magic card, I'll be very upset. Okay, it's a Hapini. I'm so used to not giving things nickname. Uh, okay, so I completely skipped the nickname. Um, if someone wants to give me a nickname to nickname it, I will then uh, do that later. Because I completely forgot that I needed to name it. Yes, I am aware it evolves into a chancy. What is 12 plus 28? That is 40. So that means the middle door. I'm curious. Okay, so I can go back if I choose to. Which is what was important. Now, I just want to know how many questions I have to deal before I get to the gym leader. So I can go back before I get to that final... I already forgot which door was the right one. Okay, it's the middle one. Fight my way to victory. Hmm. I'm seeing a lot more of them. At below 30s. So maybe we're actually getting mid to low 30s for the gym leader. Hmm.
Wait a minute. I thought you- I thought fairy typing wasn't in Gen 4. I just saw a fairy move. I mean, I knew it wasn't an original Gen 4, but I figured in the remakes they would still keep it. Oh wait, or are you just saying that, uh, in Gen 4 they- the uh, ghost didn't have the weakness to fairy typing. Because if that's the case, then that could still technically hold true. Which would be weird to add the fairy type moves in the game and not have anything weak to it. But, I mean, to each their own, I guess. So nobody wants to name this Hapini? Because I gotta give it a nickname later. Enjoy it is. Oh, this is going to be annoying. This is going to be a chance that I might, depending on how many aftermaths the gym leader has, I might actually take myself out with just aftermath. Okay. Wait a minute. Okay, I was just curious if I did it one more time if I'm still doing the same noise. What is three times thirteen? Isn't it 39? Let me see here. 369 and... Yeah, pretty sure it's 39. The other two numbers are so outrageous that it can't be them anyways. Well, I, I guess 33 is pretty close, but 93 is just way too outrageous. Uh, Mackenzie's Drift Moon's gonna have Aftermath, isn't it? Let's see, what's my health looking at? I can probably take another Aftermath. I gotta say, Aftermath is definitely one of the most annoying uh, abilities I've had to deal with. I mean, sure, I haven't lost a Pokemon Aftermath yet, but I've been so close. Uh... Yes, uh... The Stunky line, the Drifloom line, and I don't know what the last line of Pokemon that knows Aftermath. And the question is, I'm pretty sure... My Gyarados is built to be a physical attacker. 
So, with that being the case, Hydro Pump is not useful. Electrode. Okay, so the Voltorb line. I don't think I've actually run into any yet. Maybe I have. Maybe when I fought the Electric Gym. I don't actually remember. That was like a long time ago. That was like 2021. Oh, darn it. I should have switched. Uh, I think I'll have enough health to survive one more aftermath. Ah, I don't think I've even seen a Gorbudor yet. Gorbudor was, uh, Dark Poison? Poison ground or dark ground. Darn it, I already forgot which one. Okay, wait, there we go. Yeah. That's how I knew it was uh, poison was because it looks like a heap of garbage. I just didn't know if it uh, if it had two typings or not. I'm also sitting at that at that solid sixty nine health. Nice. Okay, I'm going to just assume that the next one is going to be the gem leader, so I'm just going to run back and hit the poke center real quick. No need to go in there with like l probably less than half my PP. Center is over here. No, that's the Mart. Okay, so then the Poke Center is right there. Okay, somehow I'm ready for whatever this next is going to consist of. Okay, I'm assuming that the questions are same doors. Climbing my way to the top. Interesting. The first room's answer was 15. So let's see what these other doors have.
I mean, as long as you're not running anything with Aftermath, uh, good luck. makes you wonder, like, in the show, if as much as possible, you can choose. Yeah, because if you go through the wrong door, there's a trainer on the other side. I don't see why anyone would want to choose the right door right away unless they're speedrunning the game. And speedrunning the game sounds like it would be a dreadful thing to try to do, because you wouldn't get enough experience if you're just... Run, if you're just running through the game as fast as possible. Now, if you were trying to outspeed run someone at the same time, then I could see you taking some time to do some training, because they would also have to take time to do training. So, I would love to see, like, in a Pokemon battle in the show, like, a Pokemon trying to use Bite on a Ghost Pokemon. Man, Hapini's just flying through levels. Already hit level 20. Wait, don't I need an item to evolve Hapini? Or am I thinking incorrectly? I feel like I need like a cute charm or something. Okay, so I technically didn't take any damage. I only used, what, maybe, maybe 5 PP? Yeah, I used 5 PP. I should be okay to continue. There's, there you are. Oh, that's not what I want. No, no. I need to open the... Menu first. No, nope. that's not what I wanted. And then click R. Hmm. Not much for decor, are you?
Well, let's see how this goes. I don't... I, how is her head not super heavy from having four gigantic, like, cocoons on the back of her head? Mm, potential aftermath here. And my verdict about their levels are... Okay, so low 30s. That's what it was, oval stone. Uh, do you remember where to get an oval stone? I might already have one, actually, but I'm not 100 on that. I was figured there was going to be an aftermath. So far, so good. Yeah, that hair. Just straight, like, purple cocoons on the back of her head. Oh, that's gonna make it so I can't one-hit you, right? No? No! Oh. <laughs> uh, I can't use... Right. Oh man, that's just so mean. I was not expecting that at all. Well, at least I can switch to someone else that can bite. Or crunch, I should say. Hmm. She does have four ovals on her head, but I doubt she's going to give me one. I actually don't even remember how many Pokemon she has left. I feel like this last, next one's her last one, but I'm not 100 on that. She might have four. I have a bad tendency of not checking the Pokeballs over their head to see how many they have. Okay, that was a steamroll. So am I going to be able to, which, which move are you going to give me and what am I going to be able to use next? Is it Surf or is it uh, Strength? Or is it, uh, what, a Rock Slide? I think is that one to go up those uh, specific areas? Okay, it's Surf. And with that...